The key features of what makes this machine really unique is the conveyor belt system. Okay? The conveyor system moves the material reliably and consistently through the printer so that we have a better quality, a better media handling than most other entry level printers that are out in the market. We have three vacuums. We have an entry zone vacuum, a print zone vacuum, and an exit zone vacuum. The vacuum sucks the material down to the printer or to the conveyor belt system so that your media movement is more reliable and consistent. We have an input hold down roller and we have an output hold down roller. These rollers are used to stop the material from curling up in case with the heat and the reactivity with the lamps, in case they do curl up, it holds the material down. We also have media thickness sensor which automatically detects the thickness of the material. The carriage, we have a standard carriage on the other side. I'm just going to pull it out so that you can see it. In here we have 12 print heads. There are two print heads per color. The standard unit comes as a six color unit, CMYK, light cyan, light magenta. Okay. Then we have on either side of the carriage, we have a UV lamp. The two UV lamps are operator changeable. They are guaranteed for 500 hours of working time. They're expected to last up to about a thousand hours of working time. On the other side of the carriage, over here, we have a camera system, which is used to set up the material. It detects the edges of the material. It's also used to do things like calibrations, bi-directional calibrations. Now, one of the biggest strengths we have for this particular printer is the ink. The ink in the system, this is the third generation of printer that HP is using exactly the same version of ink. It just goes to show that the stability of the ink is so good, HP have not found the reason to change it. Okay? Now the unit the printer comes standard as a six color printer. White ink is an, a, an optional extra. When you purchase the white ink option, it comes with a homogenizer, which is just a fancy word for an ink shaker. So essentially what we do is we take the white ink, it gets fitted into this position over here. The light sign and light magenta are removed and that white option allows us to print onto a wider range of applications. Your ink comes in a standard 3 litre container, okay, and those 3 litre containers means you have longer periods of time between changing your ink and your running cost because you're buying your ink in bulk volumes. Over here I've got some examples of things we were printed here on the uh, FB500. So products like foam PVC, I've got things like corrugated plastic. Now one of the advantages, if I point out uh, on the corrugated plastic, firstly is the flexibility of the ink, okay? Not many UV technology printers have great flexibility as the HP 500. Being able to print onto corrugated plastic and fold it like that and it doesn't crack is a key advantage. The other advantage is the adhesion to corrugated plastic. I can take it and give it a good scratch and it doesn't come off. This here is a honeycomb board and is used primarily in the exhibition industry where they print to the board and then they build exhibition stands. It's used because it's lightweight and it's got quite a lot of strength. A little bit more unusual, we have printed directly to wood. The main reason I've used this is just to show the thickness um, that we can print through on the machine. Another unusual application is directly to canvas in the frame. So I'd mounted the canvas to the frame and then put this in the frame through the printer. The only difference is I put something in here to support the canvas so that the vacuum didn't suck it down and we didn't lose quality. Now this is something that's totally unusual. This is directly to a ceramic tile. So something from your down the road building suppliers directly to the tile, unprepared, untreated, and again, stuck straight through the printer and printed onto. Now we were talking earlier about the white ink, the ability to print with white ink onto a substrate. Over here, I have a clear acetate and it was printed in reverse so that from the front end, you can see the print and then it's got a white backing on it, okay? Now that white ink, this again, in the packaging industry, was printed onto a silver, a silver card and then you've got the white ink on that so you can see the quality of the text and you can see again where there's no white backing you can see through so you get nice reflectivity on that one. A good application is things like touchscreens, uh, membranes. 
I've printed this in reverse on the back of the membrane with the white ink so that the effectively the material protects the ink, gives you much stronger durability. This is printed onto clear acrylic, so it's printed again in reverse on the back of the acrylic and it gives you a great example of an image, the quality and the colour that you get of the printer. Put that over there. And then this is printed onto raw canvas. There's not many printers that you can do printing directly to raw canvas. And what this also shows you is the flexibility and the durability of the ink. I can take the print, scrunch it up, open it up again, and there's no issues with the ink. The ink doesn't crack, it doesn't peel off, it still goes, it sticks to the substrate quite nicely. I can stretch it, and the ink doesn't stretch and doesn't peel off and doesn't crack. So again, you've got great adhesion to a wide range of substrates, you've got excellent flexibility, um, it goes all part of that whole second part of the, the Part of the productivity of the machine is the ability to be able to load multiple sheets onto the printer at the same time. Now the printer will allow us to load up to four sheets at a different width using these alignment fins in the printer. Okay? What I'm going to do now is load two sheets into the printer, drop the fins, put that in there. And if the sheets were small enough, I could do up to four sheets side by side into the machine at the same time. So part of that productivity is we can load multiple sheets and do multiple copies at the same time, which allows us to get our work or workflow. Another key advantage the printer has in part of that whole productivity and workflow procedure is everything is controlled through this touch screen. And under the printing tab, we've got all the bits and pieces we need for the printing, things like sending your calibrations, we have your job files, where you have all the jobs that you have saved on the hard drive, so you can see them easily on the, on the screen. We then have our media screen, which we use to set up the materials when we're loading multiple sheets or single sheets. We use this screen to set it all up. Under the ink screen, we can see the levels of the ink in the machine. And then under the system, we have a great set of tools for the operator which does the maintenance on the machine. There's no day-to-day -day maintenance, but what you do have is a regular servicing routine that needs to be carried out, and it has a clock over here which counts down the actual printing time of the printer. And when you've reached your allocated, in this case, 40 hours, the printer will pop up with a message on the screen, tell the operator what they need to do, how they need to do it, or what they need to do on that. Okay, one of the key advantages of UV technology is that there is no day-to-day -day maintenance. The machine takes care of that, all of that by itself with the built-in service station over here, which essentially allows the printer to look after itself. Another really great feature on the machine, it has a user diagnostic screen, which takes that first stage of support and helps the operator, because the key thing you want to do is if there is for some, some reason there's something going on on the printer, the operator can simply go into the user diagnostics. Let's just say they're having an issue with print quality. They go into print quality, they run the troubleshooting device, they select the issue they're having. Let's say they're having problems with um, banding, which is a common issue with printing. They select banding. The printer then has a set of instructions for the operator to follow, and if he follows those, nine out of 10 times, they can resolve the issue themselves, which means they do not need to call support wait for an engineer to arrive, which means their support and their turnaround times are a lot quicker. They spend more time printing and less time. One of the key features that we haven't touched on is the profitability of the machine. An average usage is around five milliliters of ink per square meter, okay? And that at the full recommended retail price uh, of the ink would get us a running cost of just over 50p a square meter. Now that, in real terms, now this is all done in four color, so you can, if in six color, it will be a little bit more, but if you're printing in four color work, in real terms, your running costs are way below a pound a square meter, which gives you an excellent profitability on the machine. <laughs>